What's up guys, uh, the reason why I upload this jailbreak kind of late is because one, there was uh, pretty much bugs around so I waited until beta 4 was out and uh, I was pretty much sick. So right now I'm showing you that my iPhone 4 is on 4.1 as you can see there it has Game Center on it. And on uh, my desktop here we got uh, Make It Rain, Lime Rain, yeah, Lime Rain with the window open. And I'm sorry for the crappy camera work here I did. Uh, I was trying to do something new, but I guess that didn't work. And it was a uh, late night. So uh, I'll try to do my best to describe the video as it goes on. So uh, right now, Gel Lime Rain is on beta 4, which I believe. And I'll post a link to the description to get Lime Rain. And uh, it only works for Windows right now. And it pretty much goes the same way as uh, Black Rain, but you have to do a uh, one simple step when you're doing the jailbreak. So we're gonna click on Make It Rain. Make sure your iPhone 4, iPod Touch, or iPad is connected, and then uh, Lime Rain is gonna make it into recovery mode, entering into recovery mode, and then it's gonna tell you to hold the Home button and the Power button at the same time. And at the same time, iTunes should pop up displaying a message. So, I'm um, sorry if you didn't really get it on my camera, but I was holding the power button and the home button. In the make it, uh, God, uh, Lime Rain window, it's going to tell you to release the power button, and you can pretty much hold the home button, and that's about it. And it's going to say, in DFU mode, please wait, and then now you can let go of your, uh, your home button, actually. Now, this, there are some problems with this especially for the iPad 3.2.2 and try starting to interrupt but yeah it did work on me for the first try and what I did was just download the update and then just update from the iPhone for uh, menu on the iTunes and that's about it yes there are some bugs for uh, iPad uh, pretty much for every single device this is pretty much what the dev team called it an unstable jailbreak but it pretty much gets the job done and uh, right now I just turn it on and if you go, well, I'm going to Lime Rain, and it's a blank app, which some people have uh, stated. So we're gonna go on it, and there you can see Acidia. You're gonna tap on that and just click install or tap on install. And it's gonna say downloading Acidia, and it's gonna respring when it's done. Now this is where some bugs show up. I actually did get a bug, and I'm actually gonna show you what I got. So you don't do the same mistake if you're gonna jailbreak. As for green, green Poison, which was supposed to come out yesterday, uh, they pretty much delayed it because Jirohot actually released Lime Rain earlier, and there's been drama going around saying that uh, he stole it, blah, 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 but I'm not going to get caught into that, but whatever, but the main reason is that they're trying to save Shatter, the exploit, so uh, for a future uh, firmware. Okay, so right now, uh, I did install Cydia, but it wasn't there. So that's one of the bugs. So I'm gonna reinstall Cydia. It's gonna say unpack Cydia now, and it's gonna respring. <clears throat> okay, now I'm gonna see if that works. And to my surprise, it did not work. So now the second option is to manually turn it off and then turn it back on. So yeah, there's still a lot of bugs in this jailbreak. It's only on beta 4, which I believe doesn't have as much bugs as it used to on the first release candidate. And right now, Cydia just showed up after I turned it on. And it's gonna, uh, I'm going to skip this part because it takes forever. It's going to reorganize and it's going to respring when it's done. Just like that. Now there are some Cydia apps that don't seem to work right now. I know that this play record is actually giving me problems now because I can't really install unless I remove most of the Cydia apps that I have installed. So uh, I'll try to get a better way to record my iPhone 4 videos. Oh and just right now I just got another bug which is a flashing screen in the Apple logo with the progress bar over the loading data screen. Which I don't know why but like I said there's still bugs in this jailbreak so I went ahead and pretty much had the complete upgrade
And to my surprise, it still showed the Apple logo up until I rebooted. Okay, so I went ahead and reboot my device. And I just skipped this part because it took a while. So I went back to Cydia. I'm gonna skip this part because it takes forever for the loading data. Because today, on that on that day, uh, the servers for Cydia were kind of flimsy. So right now, I'm just going through the changes and see how that worked out. It's pretty good, pretty much the way it was in 4.0. And as a test run, I'm gonna download Winterboard. So we got it right there, and I'm gonna install it. Confirm, and right there, there's no problems, no anything. Everything seems to be installing properly the way it should have been reloading data and it should ask me to respring reboot my device yep and that's about it guys uh, it pretty much works great uh, still a few bugs out there but uh, who knows uh, maybe we'll get a fix later on but uh, for this jailbreak the iPhone 4 and iPhone 3GS works on it the iPod touch 4G works on. I'm not sure if the third generation does. The iPad 3.2.2 has bugs which may or may not work. As for the iPod Touch 4G, I'll try to get my hands on one. I'm already buying one for a person, but I'll try to see if I can get the iPod Touch jailbreak it, make a video about it, and then return it. So yeah, that's about it guys here. Any questions, please uh, leave it in the comment box. So rate, comment, and subscribe. And uh, I'll try to post more, more videos up because I'm kind of busy working on a theme, which I'll explain later on the upcoming video. So thanks, guys. Uh, peace.